Hey guys, good morning. Today is Wednesday the 16th. Yeah, because it was open enrollment for insurance. <laughs> Did all that adulting stuff this morning. So we got our insurance all set up for the new year. But, um, Jesse is still in bed and it's actually 9.30. I should probably go wake him up. I'm not going to. I'm sitting here taking advantage of him being in bed, watching a movie on a laptop. Um, it's called Delirious. It's like a 90s or 80s movie with John Candy in it. I grew up watching John Candy. And I absolutely love like, every movie I've seen him in. <laughs> and uh, I hate that he died so young. But it happens when you don't take care of yourself, I guess. And I think he died of heart-related um, illnesses due to his his overall health. You know, he was a big guy. And I think he smoked a lot, too, I heard. Um, and I actually have the movie that he died during the making of, Wagons East. I have it on DVD. And uh, it's sad every time I watch that. It's a funny movie, but I always think about how he died before it was finished. And how a lot of the scenes are with um, body doubles and it's just sad to think that he never got to finish that movie anyways i didn't vlog yesterday because jesse was a little sick um yesterday morning into the early afternoon he got better as the the day progressed but um i was busy taking care of him and i think he ate something that did not agree with him and i can't figure out what it is because i don't think we tried anything new at least for him that i could think of i don't think so but um he just ended up having some accidents yesterday, and so I was focusing on him, and I had a ton of laundry to do and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick up vlogging again today, and um, it's probably going to be boring today because all I have planned to do is cut some material. I got all kinds of fabric in there I need to cut. I should have cut some yesterday, but I was focusing on Jesse, and it's gloomy and rainy today here. I think it's supposed to be that way for the next few days. But, yeah, I, don't, I gotta go to the store in a little bit and get a couple of things, but other than that, I don't have anything to do. <laughs> so, I will um, cut fabric later, and I want to work on my Christmas tree skirt some more. I've been working on it on and off the last few days. The hook is still hurting my hand. I haven't found a, I don't have anything here that I can soften it with. I did put on my um, fingerless mitt that I made recently, and that helped. I put it on that hand, on my right hand, and it did help with the rubbing, so, um, I'm probably going to, next time I can get to the town next to us, I'll probably get a, um, a Susan Bates hook that's got the wood on the handle and try that out and see if that helps. Uh, if not, I'll have to probably go on Etsy or somewhere and order, um, an ergonomic one or something. I don't know. But, um, I don't really use big hooks a lot, so I guess my hand's just not used to working with them. Usually the biggest I go is maybe a J sometimes but usually it's like I and under Mo usually most of the time it's like F and G is what I no normally use all the time because I like to make amigurumis and stuff but um we cleaned out Jessie's closet yesterday because I needed to dig out her jackets and hats and scarves and me and Devin went through my hats and scarves our hats and scarves and um some of them were going to donate that I made just because I want to make more this year. I already found some patterns that I want to make. And you know, I already made myself a new cowl and all that. But I did keep some. And I got to clear out a drawer in here to put them all in. And uh, I got to make. I want to make Devin another hat this year. And I got to make Jesse some more hats. Because the ones from last year. Are, are a little small on his head now. <laughs> his head got bigger. But yeah. So I don't know what else I'm going to do today. I already have dinner cooked. I cooked it yesterday. I had uh, half of a pork loin in the freezer, so I thawed it out, and then I cut off two, or cut off four a little, because they were really small, uh, pork chops, and that's what we ate yesterday, me and Devin, and uh, Jesse had a sandwich. He didn't like eating meats yet, but, um, and then I roasted the other half of it to eat today for dinner, so it's already in the oven. All I gotta do is I'm gonna roast some potatoes later to go with it and uh, salad which is already in the fridge so dinner will be really easy today I just have to you know prep the potatoes and cook them today's Wednesday yeah so, no, so tomorrow I will be going grocery shopping and stuff I don't even know what we need I have to go through my cabinets yeah I don't know I, I'm thinking about going to the thrift store later whenever Jesse wakes up because I need to find some more totes with lids and they sell them there every now and then and when they have them they're only two dollars so, um, sometimes I have them, and I need some, I need a big tote for my Halloween decorations, because I accumulated more this year, and when I put the, the Halloween decorations up, um, it's not going to fit in the tote that I had them in, <laughs> so 
so I need to get a bigger tote. But um, I guess I will talk to you guys later. It's been five minutes, and I need to. I want to watch some more of this movie before Jesse wakes up. <laughs> Devin brought me roses last night. They're really pretty, like orangey yellow color. Too sweet. Okay, I spoke too soon this morning. Where's where my rosy wrap? I started putting it under my hair to help keep my hair back, and I wear it around the house now. <laughs> but uh, Jesse's in there. He's playing a game on the TV. I'm going to sit in here and cut some material. But I spoke too soon this morning. Uh, Jesse woke up about 10 to 10, which is weird for him. He slept in. And he, I got him on the couch watching some cartoons, and I was in the kitchen unloading the dishwasher. And I heard him start, like, gagging. And when I went in there, he was dry heaving and just, you know, throwing up, you know, body fluids. Because <laughs> he, he hadn't eaten anything. So I picked him up and took him in the bathroom, and he continued to dry heave for a little while. And just spitting up, you know, I guess stomach acid and stuff. And um, he's not got a fever, though. But he's... Since then, it's now it's a little after one. He's been having, uh, I guess, diarrhea. I don't, I don't know if that's the right thing. He's been having accidents. But he doesn't have any fevers, and he's not been throwing up anymore. And he's eight and not thrown up. But he's just using the bathroom a lot. So we got him drinking Petey a lot. And uh, trying to. <laughs> he doesn't like it that much. But I'm trying to reason with him that it's that, or he might have to go to the doctor. So, uh, and get like an IV. So he's in there chilling and I'm gonna have to do some laundry later <laughs> for sure. I hope this is just a bug and it blows over because I don't want him to get super sick. But he's holding his own right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and cut some material and then hang out with him all day in case he needs something. I don't want to be too far away from him. And yeah, you know, so I don't know how interesting today will be. <laughs> All right, I got 29 bags cut so far, the outsides. Some of, most of them have notion pouches, but some of them don't. I still got some piled up there to cut, and then I got all the liners over there. Plus over there is a couple prints of regular material I'd like to cut and get in the shop too. So along with the Christmas prints in the last update this year, there might be some um, regular prints just because it's material I have and I wanna go ahead and use it all up and start fresh in the new year. So today is the 16th. I'm going to cut and cut and cut and cut and cut there in the next few days to try to get all the bags and liners and everything cut. And then I got to get some interfacing because I don't have very much of the kind that I like using for the notion pouches and get all of it cut and ready to go so that I can start sewing the week of Halloween, maybe, maybe the week before that sometime next week or Halloween week. And because I want to get all these bag sets done and in the shop in the first or second week of November. And then I will be done for the year. Hey guys, I'm cutting fabric again. I, I'm not, I've not been doing this all day. I've been doing it on and off all day. Jesse's still not feeling the greatest. He doesn't act like he's feeling bad. He's just still going to the bathroom a whole lot. He's made it to the bathroom a few times, but he's still having accidents. But he's drinking... Um, more. I feel like I have to drink more. I know uh, he's drinking Kool-Aid. <laughs> I know that's not the greatest thing in the world for him to drink, but I could not get him to drink pity a lot and uh, or water. He only drinks water usually later in the day towards the night. So I think Kool-Aid's better than nothing at this point. At least he'll stay hydrated. <laughs> that's that's my uh, positive part of that. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I have got 29 Christmas bags Christmas slash winter bags cut. I've got two more big um, couple yard pieces of outers to cut and then I got to start cutting uh, liners. So I thought I'd sit here and chat while doing that. Um, I got high blood pressure again today. <laughs> I just checked it. Devin borrowed a automatic wrist uh, high blood pressure checker thing and um I just checked mine a few minutes ago and it was 143 over 101. So I, I tried to call my doctor, but um, it's later in the evening. It's almost 4. So they're either busy or uh, whatever. They close at 5. But um, I'm going to try to get an appointment because I know I need to go get some blood work done and make sure that I'm not got anything else going on. Uh, I'm a little worried about maybe developing diabetes because um, 
a gestational pre-diabetes kind of when I was pregnant and um, my blood pressure went crazy when I was pregnant hence you know why I got preeclampsia Jesse. <laughs> uh, so I'm a little worried that maybe because I haven't been taking care of myself <laughs> maybe I'm about I'm like in pre-diabetic phase or something uh, my mom's been in and out of that for years I don't think I have any uh, relatives super close to me that had diabetes I feel like one of my mom's grandparents did but none of my grandparents did and neither of my parents did but um, I know I'm not the best taking care of myself <laughs> So, uh, I'm going to, tomorrow's the day I go grocery shopping, tomorrow's Thursday, so I'm going to grocery shop better. <laughs> We've been doing pretty good. We've been changing our diet because of Devin's health, and now it looks like uh, we're going to have to do it for my health, too. So, I was looking in, um, looking up natural ways to reduce, uh, di or not diabetes, um, high blood pressure, because I hate the idea of going on medication. I do not like using medicines. I almost absolutely have to. I'm not even on a birth control medicine form right now. We use other methods, but um, because I do not like using medicines. I don't like to be reliant on anything because if something ever does happen, or financial reasons even, um, I don't want to have to rely on medication for anything. So, I need to reduce my sodium intake, increase potassium, exercise more, <laughs> and uh, eat better, basically. Um, a whole food diet. I swear that thing kicks on every time I talk. Devin's about to go on break because uh, our bank thing just went off. Which means he bought a drink. <laughs> Anyways, um, why did I cut this so weird? I didn't have moving pressure. Okay. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Diet. Whole foods. Which I've been trying to, um, switch to anyways. I've been trying to eat more vegetables and fruits and cut out processed foods and eat less meat. Kind of make meat like the side dish and the vegetables the main dish is kind of what I'm trying to go for. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to keep baby stepping in that direction and uh, drink tons of water. I've been doing pretty good with the water lately because I don't want to develop a heart condition or diabetes or anything like that. Heart diseases do run in my family. My mom's got everything. <laughs> I don't even know everything. I know she's got an enlarged heart, which I can't really develop that. But um, she's got tachycardia. She has a defibrillator and a pacemaker in her chest. My sister has heart problems. Um, Oh gosh, I can't remember what hers is called. One of her valves was like flat or something and they had to ablation. <laughs> I think they had to do that twice. Um, my dad, I don't think he had heart problems, but he had cancer. He didn't have a hereditary kind of cancer. He had esophageal cancer, which was basically his own fault that he got that because he smoked and drank a lot of alcohol. Um, but there are a lot of other things that run in my family on both sides, so I wanna, I don't wanna be unhealthy my whole life. I've seen my mom, my mom first started getting sick when she was 36, I was nine. And uh, so I, uh, most of my life I've seen her sick. And I don't wanna be like that with Jesse. you know, I don't wanna be tired and huffing and puffing and sitting on the porch while he runs around and plays. I wanna be out there playing with him. So I've got to get my butt in gear and make better choices for me and for Jesse and for Devin even you know because Devin relies on me and Jesse relies on me and I rely on Devin and Jesse relies on Devin and we both love and worship Jesse so we all need to take better care of ourselves for each other because uh, I definitely don't want to die and leave Jesse without a mom and I'm sure Devin feels the same way about dying and leaving us so we gotta we gotta adult <laughs> and take charge of our our health and there's no one who can do it but me. You know, I'm the one who grocery shops, so I'm the one who brings food into the house. So if I don't buy crappy food, my family won't be eating crappy food. And it's probably gonna suck. I ain't even gonna lie, it's gonna suck for a while. I'm getting used to not eating all kinds of the snack foods that we enjoy eating. <laughs> but at the end, it's gonna be a lot better. Because we'll be healthier, we'll feel better. And um, I won't have to worry so much.
about dying early or any of that stuff. So tomorrow is a new day. I gotta count real fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can't count and um, talk at the same time. Okay, line that up and cut. I'm getting a lot of cutting done today. I'm pretty proud of myself. This cute print it looks like cookies. Every time I see it, it reminds me of like those cookies my granny would buy. I don't know if they were shortbread or gingerbread, but they're like the brown cookies that are iced. Probably gingerbread, but that's what this print reminds me of. So cute. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep on cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here because I didn't realize what time it was when I started filming. Uh, it's almost time for Devin to go on break and we talk on all his breaks. And uh, I need to make a note to call and make me a doctor appointment because <laughs> I need to get some blood work done and see where my, you know, where all that, those numbers lay. <laughs> Hopefully they're not too bad. But uh, tomorrow I will go grocery shopping and make better choices for me and my boys because I feed both of them. So it's up to me to feed them well. <laughs> and um, just send me some good juju or prayers or good thoughts, whatever you do, <laughs> send it this way because I need it right now because of my health. I'm going through health stuff, Devin's going through health stuff, and now Jesse's got some kind of virus. <laughs> And um, it's stressful when you're the the leader of the house, which is what I am as a mom and wife, uh, having to deal with everybody's issues, <laughs> including my own. <laughs> so send me all the good juju you can. All right, are you ready? Yeah. All right, mommy's gonna try to hit him. I hit it, but I didn't knock it over. I want it for you, but you still get a prize. I want to still get a prize? Yeah, but I still hit it. Yeah, you did it. Now you still get a prize. Woohoo! Good job. We both did good. Where are you going? I'm going to do some prizes. Oh, you're going to give me a prize? I wonder what you're going to get me. What did I get? Nothing is suing you, boys. I got a gun. <laughs> he has a gun. Wow. Gun shoots out these bullets. Gun shoots out the bullets, so you will have to shoot this box because it happens when you knock one box off. But I don't you know if that'll shoot it off, but you can try. You hit it. Did you know what I'm going to do with this thing? What? I'm going to, like, punch that box over. All right, go ahead. Huh. Woohoo! Wow, you're so strong. Yeah, I know how to punch. <laughs> but watch this. I have something It's amazing to punch. I don't think it's going to stand up. I think it will take it off like this. Now, you have to hit all these balls. What? You want me to do it? No, I can do it. Okay. Hiya! Oh, almost. Try again. I don't want you to hurt your hand. I couldn't, Mama. You did. I got like spice to be. Wow. Woo. <laughs> I had swipe blades too. Wow. I can do this to swipe bin cut. I do swipe blades cut.
start. You're doing slice spins? Yeah, uh, yeah. I I put them up like this so they don't fall off. Spike can't cut when you go like, And a little pointy thing. I can't. The boxes. But every box needs to be hit for one of the hitter guys. by now. But we get throw these coins at them. But we get them. There's this box. 